Marcus Conti reporting. This is Wolf Alice. Okay, get a copyright strike for talking about music. Good band, by the way. If you ever, if you ever interested in widening your musical spectrum of bands, Wolf Alice from uh, from from the I guess the north of uh, England. All right. So uh, let's just talk about some top stories today. There's a lot of half stories. A lot of a lot of uh, to some people, it's not a half story like the Bre- Brexit story, but certainly. There's a there's a whole lot of stories and I couldn't flip a coin so let's just talk about let's talk about all of them so uh, before we do that we have a sponsor and that sponsor is you this is a people powered people powered YouTube station it's an alternative to mainstream media if you want to keep getting lied to and and cheated and and told half truths then listen to mainstream media if not hit this little button right here this is a fine channel right we have all those. We have a lot of top stories, and we have two, three stories a day coming out. And uh, to to help support the station, right? Rather than just you know, everybody says they come here and say, ah, oh, fucking Conti wants all this free stuff, free stuff, right? Well, fucking you guys are if you if you become a Patreon, right? Because hit this button right here. I'm looking for three hundred strong, three hundred like the movie, ah, oh, Sparta, right? When we get to three hundred, then we'll be we'll be powerful because Conti can get out of his goddamn mother's basement and go report on some stories. But right now he's 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 scrubbing nickels together to to survive, right? Also you can hit a one time payment of PayPal and I have new stickers coming along. I got these, you see these stickers, right? These are the old ones, but I have a whole pile of new ones coming along with the uh, with this logo, right? You see this? With this logo, so if you're a Patreon, if you become a Patreon, I'll send you a, I'll send you a bunch of them for for just for signing up, right? Two three dollars a month, it's not a big deal. And then you become a, a Patreon, and this channel will take off. <clears throat> All right, so so let's talk about the top story. So the I guess the the big one is uh, UK lawmakers gear up for vote on Brexit delay. All right. Now our British colleagues, our British friends in the audience, are telling us that. Uh, that the Brexit uh, is a deal that was voted on by the people. And now the uh, authorities are saying, oh, no, 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 that wasn't, uh, we didn't hear the people loud and clear enough, so we're going to have another vote, right? So the, the Brexit deadline is March 29th, right? And if March 29th or 23rd, whatever it is, if it comes and goes, right, and there's no deal, will we'll, this this new um, uh Let's see. British lawmakers, this new deal, this new vote within Parliament is to decide if they're going to um, exit without a without a deal. Right? So British uh, lawmakers face another tumultuous day Thursday as Parliament prepares to vote on whether to request a delay to the country's scheduled uh, departure from the uh, EU and Prime Minister Theresa May struggles to shore up her shattered authority. Look, the people voted to Brexit. Whatever the circumstances of it is, fucking Brexit, right? That's the way I see that. Right? So that's why it's not it's not really a deep dive. So the other story is this guy, this uh, charity masked web of fraudulent college donations. It's not a story, in my view. The mastermind of a wide ranging college admissions scandal set up a charity that wove a deep. Uh, a deep web of deception and fraud to mask bribes and payoffs, funneling millions of dollars through the tax-exempt organization under the nose of U.S. officials. Uh, yeah, so there's some tax evasion going on, and there's some, you know, disguise. But the idea that wealthy people don't have sway in getting their kids into the finest schools building auditoriums and buildings with their names on it at the school, and then their kid comes along and says, oh, by the way, can my kid come to your school? And of course they're going to say yes, right? I mean, some of this is blatant where, you know, suitcases full of cash were dropped on their uh, uh, laps for the kid to get into the, uh, into the school with, you know, fudging 
um, ac- a- a- academic numbers, f- you know, fudging actual academic records and money laundering. But the point is that this is not a spectacular story for the simple reason that rich people have the, the one percent has way more sway than you do, and and they're simply more important than you. You're a fucking peon, the ninety nine percent of the population and rich people could come in and buy their admission right it's the velvet rope treatment so just get used to it man because look if you're not going to fight back if you're not going to put your yellow vest on and you're not going to get your head out of your ass in terms of politics then this is what you get right rich people just going to buy this shit there'll be no consequence to this they'll throw a couple of they'll throw this guy under the under the uh, bus and uh rich people just be more cautious in how they uh distribute their 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 uh uh, admission fees. Uh, so shit sandwich, Beto O'Rourke, uh, announces 2020 democratic presidential bid. Guy's a shit sandwich, right? He ran against Tom Cruise. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Ted Cruz down in Texas, right? And he's big. He lost. He's a fucking loser, right? He's already a one-time loser. He ran a campaign. He's a big old fucking Texas man. Fucking, I do. Ah, fucking, he uses the F word. Fucking drops a couple of F bombs like he's cool, right? But he stands for nothing. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, Democrats. There's no way this idiot is going to win, right? You pick this guy, you back this guy, and you got yourself Donald Trump for four more years, right? No, if that's a bad thing, then, then just keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep promoting the shit sandwiches. Keep play, pulling them out on a silver platter. We already gave you the candidate. His name is Bernie Sanders, right? You don't want Bernie, then fuck it. You get Trump. That's it. There is no, there is no, we're not, the, the, the left and the independents are not negotiating with you. It's not, this is not negotiable. You don't have any power. What are you going to do? Go down to the South and fool a bunch of, a bunch of sleepy blacks to vote for fucking, Camilla Harris, it ain't going to happen, right? Because because there are no sleepy, sleepy blacks. They're looking at you and saying they're fucking corrupt. We're going to go, we're just going to vote for Trump. We like Trump. All right, so so Be- Beto O'Rourke is a shit sandwich. He's going to be in, in New Hampshire, I'd say 1%. <laughs> him, and, him and fucking, him and uh, Biden, right? Two jerk offs. Right? Here's another story. Um, Republican, this is not good for Trump. No wall. Oh, my God. The GOP is turning against Trump's wall. See, there's not going to be a wall. Right? There is not going to be a wall. The wall is a failed idea. It's, it failed, okay, it for, on, many, on many respects. But GOP senators appear ready to block Trump border declaration, right? Because there is no, there is no emergency. If they declare an emergency now, when does it stop? Everything's a fucking emergency. Trump's going to come out of the White House. I got an emergency. Give me $5 billion. So that's the, the, the uh, essence of why the GOP will block Trump's uh, plea to declare an emergency and give him another $8 billion or however, however many fucking billions of dollars he's asking for his wall, right? The Republican, oh, I mean, I'm sorry, your wall, the wall that you wanted, the wall that you campaigned on, right? The Republican-led Senate is set to deal President Donald Trump a rebuck on his declaration of a national emergency at the Mexican border. With the only remaining question, how many GOP senators will join Democrats in defying him, right? The balance is, um, I think it's, they need like four, here it is. Uh, with Republicans controlling Senate, 53 to 47, they only, uh, just four GOP defections would be enough to approve the resolution canceling Trump's border, quote, emergency. All right? So, I don't know what this is. Tap to unmute. Okay. Thank you for what you do every day to keep the American people safe. That's just propaganda, Pence propaganda video. So, uh, no wall, sorry. Next. So, Ethiopian crashed, a black box, okay? So, they, uh, there's, there's speculation that uh, there were a couple of UN people on that uh, plane, and maybe it was taken out of the sky, uh, you know, through nefarious activity, but whatever, you know? Like, that's, that's the, state of the, uh, state, of the uh, state of the state right now, right? People, you know, you go up in a plane, and you're a UN guy, and they, 10 of you guys, and they take you down. Well, that's not the, that doesn't affect... America, 
I, I don't want to say coldly, but how does that affect us? Are we going to chase every false flag? Is it a false flag in, in Ethiopia? It could be. But the point is the black box. Pow. Ethiopia crash black box arrive in France for analysis, right? They don't even have their own, um, they don't even have their own uh, means by which to analyze their own boxes. Some, some stunning pictures. Uh, the plane goes down. Pretty powerful. All right, so they gave the boxes to France. We'll see what happens, right? That's all we can do is 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 look at what the experts tell us about the boxes, and uh, we'll we'll find out if they if the plane if the guys in the cockpit going, oh my god, oh my god, get that knife off my throat, right? Or is it just you know they'll they'll have a recording, they'll have the audio. And we'll know what happened in the cockpit. Uh, for now, Boeing is still taking a hit for their uh, 737 MAX 8s. All down. Trump just downed the MAX 8s. Uh, so that was the uh, course it took. It went right down. It didn't get up very high. It uh, was only up in the air for five minutes. And pow. That's usually the, the sign of a uh, an altitude bomb. Usually when that happens, it's just starting to climb. Right? It's just starting as an, as it hits a certain altitude, pow, something blows up, right? So that's that's usually how, if you do the study, right? What else? Any more shots? Who's that guy? He snuck his face in there. <laughs> so um, so that's that's really it for now. That's uh, that's just going on in the in the world. That's what's going on in the world, right? There's planes getting knocked out of the sky. Democratic Party still starting to serve up shit sandwiches. All right, so what? Where does it all lead? I don't know, man. But uh, have a good day, Marcus Conti reporting.